Hi, I'm Riku Fenter, Portfolio Manager for United Invest. Welcome to this month's Market and Performance Update. Let's first look at some of the key factors that affected markets during the quarter. Firstly, the ongoing war in Ukraine continued creating havoc in global food and energy supplies. Secondly, inflation. Surging inflation is expected to increasingly put pressure on company earnings and dampen consumer spending. In addition, central banks around the globe are trying to battle inflation by raising interest rates, which, which chokes economic activity. China's zero COVID policy and resulting lockdowns did not help either. Subsequently, uncertainty and recessionary fears have escalated, creating panic selling across financial markets. If we look at the performance of major asset classes, we see local equities and property both losing over 10% during the quarter, while SA nominal bonds also lost some ground. Local inflation-linked bonds was one of the few asset classes that posted a positive return due to its excellent inflation hedging attributes. Regardless of the large depreciation that we saw in the RAND versus the US dollar, global equity still posted a big negative return in RAND terms. Global bonds just squeezed out a positive return. Let's look at the performance of the range next. Note that these models were launched in January this year, and all periods before launch date use backtested numbers for illustration purposes. Since launch, performance has been pretty good relative to industry peers. The United Best Flexible Income model posted a positive quarterly return as the more defensive income managers provided good protection. We think from this point onwards, we are exceptionally well positioned. Given the performance from the major asset classes during the quarter, performance from South African balance type funds were in the red, with higher equity funds taking more strain than lower equity funds. The flex flexible growth portfolio with its global exposure of around 60% and total equity exposure of almost 80% weathered the storm well when considering the big drawdown equities experience. This outcome was thanks to good defensive strategies from 361, Truffle, and the 91 Global Strategic Managed Fund. It was a challenging quarter and year in financial markets so far, but we are confident that the portfolios can meet their respective objectives once looking past the current volatility. I thought it would also be interesting to touch on some of the notable performers in the models over the quarter. In the flexible income solution, 91's diversified income fund had a very good quarter, mainly due to their low exposure to SA bonds and property. ABAX's absolute fund, which, utilize, uh, which we utilize in the stable growth and moderate, moderate growth portfolios also did well. The protective equity worked wonders while the exposure to inflation-linked bonds produced a positive return. I mentioned Truffle's flexible fund, which we use in multiple models. A big win for Truffle was the exposure to the rallying NAS fashion process, British American tobacco, which was up 13.6% in the quarter, Sassol and Shell, which rallied on higher oil prices, and lastly, MediClinic. 361 also had an excellent quarter, as their flexible opportunity fund was one of the few multi-asset funds in the industry that produced a positive return. They benefited from similar performance drivers as Truffle, with MediClinic one of their top stock picks as this stock searched on news of a takeover bid. My last slide contains our forward looking view. It is extremely ch challenging. It is an extremely challenging. Uh, <laughs> it is extremely challenging to time markets, but our base case view is that the bottom of the market is not too far from here. If our view is broadly accurate. Growth assets provide excellent upside when one looks past the short term. We acknowledge that inflation remains an ongoing concern, but global inflationary forces will likely subside in the months to come. In line with our view, the balanced and flexible managers in the models have generally been optimistic on SA equities due to its low valuation levels compared to history and other emerging and developed nations. SA nominal bonds remain an excellent investment with a yield of around 11% on the SA 10-year bond and SA inflation that will likely average below 6% in the years to come, we think it is an excellent investment opportunity, which our managers are exploiting. Within Global, there are favorable upside prospects, 
as many of the excellent profitable companies have been beaten down far too much. Overall, we view the current volatile environment as a rare opportunity to gather undervalued assets, enhancing future real return prospects. However, some of these opportunities will likely take a few quarters to unlock. Thank you for watching this month's update and thank you for your support. Innate is a registered trademark of Stanlib Wealth Management Pty Limited, an authorized financial services provider.